So I'm going to try to get through log laws really, really quickly. Uh, now you've probably seen something like this. So this is 5 squared equals 25. Now this is written in indicial form or exponential form. I can write it in logarithmic form by doing the following. Log base, because this is the base here, 5. And then this number here goes there is equal to 2. So that really says like um, f the answer to uh, 5 to the 2 is 25. So it's just another way of writing that and we call that logarithmic form. Okay, so this is just another way of writing things in indicial form. And just like we have some index uh, laws, index laws, we have some log laws as well. So we're going to quickly whip through our log laws. So first law, uh, log base a m times n is equal to log base a m plus log base a n. Um, now, obviously, you can work both ways here. So, uh, for instance, examples, example, if I were to say log base 7, 5 plus log base 7, uh, 4, that would be equal to log base 7, 5 times 4, 5 times 4. 5, 4, 5, 4. Alright, so there's an example of how you can do this. There's another example of how you can do this, so um, you can work the other way. So if I said log base 7, um, 8x, you could rewrite that if you thought it was useful as log base 7, 8 plus log base 7, x. So that, that times that, so you can split it up into sort of plus. Another law we can look at is kind of the matching law. Log base a m divided by n is log base a m minus log base a n. Uh, so if you were to like do a quick example of that, it might be the case where you're given something like log base, um, let's call that 3, um, 5, minus log base uh, 3, 2, and we can say that that's log base 3, 5 over 2. Now, if, like, let's say that was a 6, not a 5, then that would be 6 over 2, which becomes log base 3, 3. And that's going to be interesting. We'll use that in a minute. This one's a really useful log law. Log base a m to the power of n equals n times log base a to the m. So when you come across something like this, you can shift that n from the power out here to the front. So if you had log base 2, 5 to the power of 3, you can rewrite that as, uh, oops, as 3 log base 2 to the 5, which is useful sometimes. Now, it's also useful sometimes if you've got something like 4 log base uh, 5, 7. Sometimes it's more useful to rewrite that with the 4 inside of the log. So that would be log base 5, 7 to the 4. Okay, so two useful things that you can do using that third log law. Law 4 is kind of a spe specific example of law 3. So if we say log base a 1 over m, that's going to be equal to log base a m to the negative 1. It's just moving the m to the top as a negative power. And then if we've got a negative, if we've got a power, then we can just apply our third log law and bring the power out the front like we have there. So log base a m to the negative 1 would be negative log base a m. Um, a little bit useful, so I know I'm running out of space here for my examples, uh, if we said log base 2 to the 1 fifth, that's the same as, um, so we just bring a negative out the front, negative log base 2 to the 5. So that can be useful. You can get rid of your little fraction here and you just get a little negative out the front. That's law 4. Now, I told you before that um, one of those things that we mentioned earlier was going to be a bit useful when we talk about law 5. So law 5, very straightforward, log base a 
uh, a equals 1. Now, this kind of comes from uh, this law here, a to the 0 equals 1. Um, oh, actually, sorry, it comes from this law here, a to the 1 equals a. Um, so, this, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, don't even really need an example. But if it says log base 7, 7, the answer to that's going to be 1. Uh, I think I'm nearly through all my log laws. Probably just need one more. Last log law, law 6, log base a 1 equals 0. If you've ever got a 1 here, so that one corresponds definitely with this law here. If you've got anything log 1, then the answer is going to be 0. Uh, don't need an example here, but log base 7, 1 equals 0. And if you were to write that in indicial form, it's pretty obvious. 7 to the power of 0 equals 1. Alright, they are all six of our logos as quick as we can do them.